recently, we have to go to the root. We have to go to the cause. Dealing with the condition itself is not enough. Dear Mr. Massa, I'm just trying to mind my own business. What's the matter? It's just another day, another black king captured. I'm about to lose my brain stuck inside this ghetto rapture. I got a lot of smoke. If you want it, you can have it. They want a hat trick, but this is black girl magic. Ain't talking about the kind that'll make you disappear, but I'm talking about the power of the melanin within. Ain't looking for trouble, but I'ma say this one time. I put two dupes up if you try to touch mine. We still want justice for Samir and Trayvon. You say you don't see color, but racism ain't blind. They targeting little kids whose skin look just like mine. So I'm paranoid, it's a war zone outside. And I'm a black queen, so if you ask me to step out of my car, you gon' have to snatch me. Cause I ain't going no damn well. Had to spend my whole life living unfair. Ancestors got my back and they right here. You can never understand, it's a nightmare. Living in my black shoes by the black rules. You can keep your handshake, I don't dap coon. The white man would go nuts if he cash you. But you all on his side like a damn fool. Make it make sense. We are oppressed. Queen. We are exploited. We are downtrodden. Make it Queen. make sense. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. Alma Dyer. So the only way we're going to get some of this Alma Dyer. oppression and exploitation Queen. away from us or aside from us is come together Queen. against the common enemy. Who taught you to hate the Alma Dyer. of your Oh my Parents, pay attention to the books, the school system, even to your little children. Lies mixed with wisdom. His skin too bright, so he was blind to the prison. My skin just right, so I collide with the vision. You trying to pray to God, but we tired of religion. No savior saving, we got to save our savings. We used to pay miss, how we gon' make the slave rich? But who's to blame and tell me why you complaining? We need a team effort just to rule the nation. Like a bad relationship, missing communication. We missing moderation. They're trying to get a poison to my population. No reparations. I'm getting tired of Satan. We are oppressed. Queen. I'm getting tired of waiting. We are downtrodden. Queen. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. Alma Dyer. So the only way we're going to get some of this Alma Dyer. oppression and exploitation. Queen. Touch one of my new sons. They show no love for the queen. Why they hating on me? 
Once again, to the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and this is your second morning wake-up call. So as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click the notification bell and click the word all so you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. All right. With that all being said, Kimberly says, uh, hey, Queen, do you still have your true crime channel? I can't find it. Needs to binge again. Um, I still have it. I haven't posted on there in a minute. I'm glad you brought that up because I have some stuff I need to post on that channel, beloved. Yes, I still have it. Moderators, please drop the link uh, to the true crime channel, please. Okay, that crazy bitch era says the real Nancy Drew of journalism is here. <laughs> Thank you, beloved. All right. And so Reggie is here, Queen Sam. All right. <laughs> Queen Sam said, yeah, Queen, we run right over. Okay. Timber Dan in the house, Laverne, Wavy though, Naja is here, the Prince of Paraphernalia, Root Trackers, that Crazy Beach Aries, Buckhorse DC, Stacey Quinn, Christopher. All right, Vince, I am from the UK, Deronda. All right, let's get into it. RG Titan Edward. Queen Christina is in the house. Bithia is here. All right, let's get into it. Aboriginal woman. I see you, Stacey. All right, Mary Searcy is here, Latasha, Claudette. Shout out to everyone chatting, everyone tuned into the Queen. Y'all know I love me some royals, all right? And shout out to all of the new members to the channel. Antoinette, I see you, beloved. Okay, so, and thank you all for the cash apps, all right? I'll keep forgetting. I don't thank you all enough, but thank you for the cash apps and the gifts that you send me. I really appreciate you, okay? So now let's talk about it, honey, because they are mad, but hurt, and it's all crazy. First of all, let's talk about how they're saying that it's fake news. They're saying that it's fake news. I just want y'all to pay attention. All right. They said it's fake news. Let's get into it, honey, okay? Um, first, let's go to that article about it. All right, here's what they say. False black Jesus. All fake news. Post falsely claims videos show Russian president saying Jesus was black. Okay, this is what they're saying is false. Let me just show you all. Let me just show you all the receipts, honey, because they just so mad. Please don't be mad. I mean, like, why is everybody mad about the truth? Why is everybody but hurt and been out of shape about the facts, about reality, honey? This is all crazy. You know, it's 2024. All things are coming to fruition. Okay, all things are being shown and revealed. See that? The big old false on there, honey. Please pay attention. That's from the fake fact checkers. That is from the fake fact checkers. I just want y'all to pay attention. Now, so anyway, they're saying that it's not true. Putin didn't say Jesus was black. Well, here's the thing. I need you all to pay attention to how they play with semantics. Here's another one right here. Fact check. Let me show you all this. I just got to show you all a couple of these receipts because this is what they're posting all over the media. Y'all see that? Fact check. Video does not show Putin saying Jesus was black. Okay, well, here's the thing. The reason I say they're playing with semantics is because, no, Putin may not have literally said out of his mouth that Jesus was black, but on the video, he shows a black Jesus. I'm sorry. Why do you have to say it when it's obvious, when the truth is right there before your eyes? Okay? Please pay attention, all right? This is all so crazy. And listen, I want everyone to be careful of what you put in the chat because YouTube will snatch your channel, okay? Don't put anything racially charged in my chat. Don't do it. The moderators will delete it and you'll be given a warning. If they have to warn you more than once, they'll just block you from the channel or put you, they'll put your time out first. And then after that, you'll be blocked, okay? We don't need Putin telling us that Jesus is black. We already knew this. Well, here's the thing. We knew it, but some other people don't. Some black people, in fact, didn't know it, beloved. We knew, some of us. Those of us that are awakened into higher learning and know the truth of self. There's many of our people that are indoctrinated, so they don't know it. And I'm going to show you uh, one foolish black woman who was saying we don't want no black Jesus and all this foolishness. I'm going to show you proof that some of us don't know it, beloved. And here's the thing. Let's not go in on Putin because Putin is a friend to Africa. Putin has never colonized Africa. Putin has never enslaved black folk. 
Putin has never oppressed black folks. At the end of the day, Putin has not done any of the nefarious things that the United States has done. And I want you all to pay attention to that because when the United States makes people our enemy or they try to make people our enemy, uh, these are absolutely the people that you should pay attention to. OK, because these are absolutely nine times out of 10 people who absolutely do help black folk. OK, let's think about Fidel Castro. They tried to demonize him. Fidel Castro was working with Malcolm X. They're not going to tell you that. OK, uh, even Hitler said in a documentary called Adolf Hitler, the greatest story never told. For those of you who missed it, he even said that there was uh he told his soldiers in the in the documentary he told his soldiers that america has in their possession god's jewels j-e-w-e-l-s he said the negroes okay the negroes are the real you that's what y'all to pay attention that's what he said so when they sit there and tell you certain things really please make your own decisions and do your own research and just listen to them that's why we're in the predicament that we're in right now from listening to the lies and the indoctrinations uh rg time said gaddafi as well exactly they acted like gaddafi was such a mean uh terrible dictator and all of this and then hillary obama gave hillary the okay to give nato you know permission to go over there and do what they did to gaddafi and then all of a sudden 144 tons of his gold comes up missing and then there's video footage to services of u.s soldiers putting those gold bars in their bags and stealing it okay please pay attention all right please pay attention they are so nefarious yes they absolutely demonized that man good after they absolutely did so with that all being said let's get into these receipts first of all let me start by telling you all um that some of our people are absolutely blind to the truth. Because in 1969, and, and here's the thing, I saw someone say they been knew that Jesus was black. Yes, like I said, those of us who are awakened and know who we are, we already knew that. But back in the day in the 70s, they were showing us on good times. Remember when they had the black Jesus that JJ painted and uh, Florida being the raccoon that she was on the show, uh, did y'all ever notice that Florida was a whole raccoon on that show? Because she clearly was. So she didn't want the black Jesus. She made him take it down and put her white Jesus up. And then that time when James found that $22,000 in the brown paper track, uh, brown paper bag, she made him turn it in. Even though he found it somewhere like in an alley, it was probably somebody stole it or whatever. But she made James turn it back in. Broke as they were living in the projects and struggling. I find it also interesting. Florida was a hot mess. Please pay attention. <laughs> Please pay attention. Now, with that all being said, here's the thing that made black folk mad in 1969. This is y'all people. This is what y'all people got mad about in 1969. Did I say 79? I meant 69. 1969, Ebony Magazine published an, an um, issue with a black Jesus trying to show black people the truth. But indoctrinated black people who suffer from cognitive dissonance and Stockholm syndrome were so angry and butthurt that they demanded that it be taken out, that issue canceled, and they said otherwise they would cancel their subscriptions. Ebony almost went out of business, that's all I'm saying. They almost went out of business for posting the truth by their own people. It wasn't the white folk that was complaining about it, it was black people. I just want you all to pay attention, okay? The, the foolishness that some of us still engage in. Okay, some of us don't know the truth, even though the proof in the pudding is right before our eyes. Now, listen to this. Ebony Magazine was almost put out of business. Why? Uh, they published the article or they published an issue March of 1969 of Ebony Magazine with a black Jesus on the cover. So many in the black community were upset to the point of threatening to cancel their subscriptions. They sent Johnson publishing pictures of what some called uh, the true white Jesus. That's what they sent them. Tell them this is a true Jesus right here, honey. The self-hate is real. Okay, I want you to pay attention. Now, in 2013, uh, in 2013, has anything has anything changed? Because this article is from, from 10 years ago. In 2013, has anything changed in Black America about worshiping a, a Black Jesus? Is a white Jesus still the only picture of the true Jesus for Black folks? In earlier responses to this posted, I read lots of responses from awakened, awakened people calling those ones those uh 1969 responses to the ebony cover the actions of raccoons that's what it was i want y'all to pay attention i'm not going to disagree but the problem is much more complex than most people believe 
The indoctrination of white Jesus into the minds of black people is one of the most successful psychological warfare programming in history. I've told you all this before. I have told you that the biggest symbol, the biggest emblem of wanting supremacy is the fictitious image of a white Jesus. It gives you the white savior complex. It makes you look to them and adore them more so than you do yourself, more so than you do your own. You will be easily willing to go out and do something nefarious to your own than to do something to one of them. And that is because they have been shown to us as being uh, the descendants of the savior, okay? Uh, the savior looks like them. That's what has been indoctrinated into our people's minds. Beginning in slavery. Now critically think, and ask yourself the following question. If everything of substance was taken away from the slaves, such as reading, culture, language, etc., why was Christianity allowed? <laughs> Please pay attention. Okay, the true reason why the white slave masters and white colonizers of Africa found it necessary to convert black people into Christians. Why did they find that necessary? Black people were not given the Christian religion because whites wanted to save our souls in order that we black people may share heaven with them in the afterlife. We know this is to be irrefutably true because during the time when whites were converting black people into Christianity, most of them perceived it that the black people were inferior, that they did not truly even possess souls, that they were three fifths of a human. In fact, during the early period when whites were converting black people into Christians, they at the same time declared black people as not being fully human. But of these perceived reasons, the colonizers and masters believed that black people actually could never truly enter the kingdom of their perceived white heaven, okay, in an afterlife because of their racist low opinions of, of black people. Uh, those same people converted our ancestors to Christianity actually uh, but they believed that the thought of a black person entering into heaven was as ridiculous as saying that a dog would enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay, I want you all to pay attention. Now, when we honestly, logically, and critically look at the fact that we that we can easily say uh, with great certainty that the slave masters and colonizers were not trying to save the souls of black people when they taught them the Christian religion. The truth of the matter is that the Bible was used uh, to subconsciously brainwash the Africans during the enslavement of the Amer of the Africans in America and the colonization of African black people. Oh, they were given a Christian religion that taught them to believe in only white deities a white God, a white Messiah, white angels, and white prophets. The reason for this was to instill the myth of white divinity into their collective minds, okay, the African slaves, that is. These depictions of the white-only deities were deliberately done to subconsciously indoctrinate the false belief of white divinity and therefore superiority into the minds of the African slaves. Okay, please pay attention. Whoever controls your concept of God controls you. To establish and then protect their positions of white dominance, the slave masters and colonizers believed it was necessary to instill the belief of white divinity into the minds of black people. Now, the images of a white son of God intentionally makes the logical assumption that uh, the son, uh, if the son of God is white, then God the father must also therefore be white. This logical conclusion has resulted in many black people consciously worshiping a white God. The white colonizers and enslavers knew that by teaching black people to consciously worship a white Messiah and white God, that it also caused them to subconsciously worship or at the very least admire white people. To consciously worship a white God is to subconsciously worship white people. And let me tell you something about subconsciously. For those of you who follow my spiritual channel, you know that I've told you numerous of times that the subconscious mind controls 95% of everything that we do and think about, okay? Our cognitive biases, okay? All of these things are controlled by the subconscious mind, whether you know it or not. So even if once you have been indoctrinated and brainwashed, so to speak, uh, with a particular thought, idea, or belief, it is very difficult to take that from your mind. It is very difficult to pluck that out of your head because it is deeply ingrained and embedded in the subconscious mind. And this is what they knew. This is what they knew. Now, so with that all being said, the belief of a white that a white Jesus died for black people also subconsciously instilled 
uh, within the collective black conscious a feeling of indebtedness to a white messiah. This white worshiping religious, religious indoctrination process was also used to make the African slaves docile, humble, and more loyal to their masters. And here's why. Let me just explain that to you. Because you see, in the Bible, which they've transliterated themselves and changed certain things and left out certain books and all of that, okay, um, at the end of the day, it tells you to turn the other cheek. The Old Testament tells you an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But in the New Testament, it says turn the other cheek. So which is it? You see, they put that in there uh, to make you be docile. Okay, that's what that was for, to make the slaves docile. Just turn the other cheek. Go ahead and let them do it to you. Okay, this is what God wants. This is what Jesus says. Be docile. That's what that was all about. Okay, at the end of the day. It was all just something to keep them from fighting back and also to make them feel like their their uh their their bondage was fine with God. Because here's the thing. They say in the Bible it says servants obey your masters. That's what it tells you in the Bible. Servants obey your masters. So when you're reading that, if you're a slave or they're reading that to you, and then that makes you feel like, okay, you're supposed to do what the master tells you. You're not supposed to go against master. But here's the truth of the matter. In the Bible, when it talks about how the Egyptian Pharaoh enslaved the Hebrew Israelites, which was God's chosen people, God told Moses at the burning bush, go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And so when Moses went to tell Pharaoh what God said and Pharaoh did not comply. And then God sent the plagues upon him. So you have to ask yourself, does God really condone slavery? Well, of course not. Okay, of course not. And people who tell you such things, they only give you parts of the Bible that fit their narrative. Uh, so from the perspective of the slave masters, this religious brainwashing process uh, perpetuating white divinity made the Africans into better slaves. Moreover, this brainwashed condition of black people has been left un uncorrected and unremoved for generations. Some of you all are still brainwashed, indoctrinated, and suffer from cognitive dissonance as well as Stockholm Syndrome. That's why some of you will protect and defend the very ones that oppress you. Please pay attention. Now, with that all being said, um, the effects of that brainwashing scheme initially implemented more than 400 years ago, still continues upon the mind of millions of African-Americans. It is the reason why you can presently visit many black churches and find its walls stubbornly adorned with pictures of only white deities. Uh, to consciously worship a white God is to subconsciously worship white people. Okay. Uh, so, and I got this information from the book, uh, The Black Matrix by Franklin Jones. Okay, because I read a lot. So I took this excerpt, this information, I typed this up from there. All right. So with that all being said, they try to tell y'all it's fake news and all of this. Like I told you, they're playing with semantics. And so now let's get into it. Queen Sam said we suffer from PTSD, which is another reason we deserve our reparations. Absolutely. But we're not going to get it. That's just the fact. We're not going to get it. People have lied to us for decades and centuries. They're not going to give us anything to compensate, beloved. Okay, so with that all being said, uh, let's talk about it. I'm going to show you a video of Karen. Karen said Putin pulled out his dusty black Jesus. Honey, she was so mad. I want you all to pay attention. Likes up, everyone. Please like and share. Well, before, actually, before I show Karen, let me show you all uh, Putin's unveiling. And for those of you who follow the queen, I told you all, like I said, I told you all this months ago. Hold on. Make sure I pull up the right video. Likes up, everyone. Please like and share. Thank you in advance. Okay, this is the video that I showed you all months ago. For those of you who remember, this is the first video of Putin that I showed you all months ago. Now, and then I'm going to show you the recent one. I, I showed you all months ago. Putin literally worshiping a black Jesus, black deities. You all remember that? Today, Vladimir Putin reveals to the world a secret that European has been hiding from African for more than a millennium that Jesus was black.
worshiping and, and uh, praising a black Jesus. Okay, please pay attention. And for those of you who follow the spiritual channel, I told you about two years ago that there are some some uh, hospitals where they have a chapel for you to go and pray. They actually have black Jesus in there. Okay, they actually have black Jesus in there. So this is nothing new. And you know, here's the thing. Uh, we can say that Putin didn't have to tell us because we already knew, but some people in fact don't know. And also, I'm glad that Putin said it because some of us black folk won't believe anything until a person who doesn't look like us co-signs it. Okay? Some of us won't believe it until someone who looks like us co-signs it. As we can see from the people who went in on Ebony Magazine back in 1969. But now, I want you all to see this. Um... Catholic churches in America, Jesus always been white, but it's nice to know uh, she is black. It's always wonderful. They don't have to accept it, but on the day of judgment, they're going to answer for it. Okay, and so with that all being said, I'm about to show you all this video that I thought was so interesting. The Pope was kissing the black leader's feet from the motherland. Pay attention. Okay, now with that all being said, listen, Karen, as I told you, got so mad and butthurt and been out of shape. And she said Putin pulled out his dusty black Jesus. Honey, pay attention. She called it dusty. That's what you ought to pay attention. Okay, here we go. Well, well, well. You know, there's a lot of Arabic people and Palestinian people, a lot of people over there with blue eyes and reddish brown hair. I don't, I don't know where they got it from over there in the Middle East. I'm sure it was some kind of gene just like being black and just like being white, it has to do with your genes, the color of your eyes. I'm sure we could find out. But Putin and dusting off his black Jesus from the Kremlin attic, that is one heck of a thing. Why are we just finding out? Did I think Jesus was blonde and blue-eyed? I didn't really care. I do care about my wig, though. My hair's looking, oh, it's time for a do. But anyway, get back. Mr. Putin, you drew the race card. Now what you going to do with it? You got all these black people excited that you have a picture of a black Jesus. You're saying black. To me, sir, it just looks like a dark Jesus. Because I don't know what kind of paint or colors or whatever they had over there. But they had to have something for black. Was it coal? What was it? Anyway, Mr. Putin, you're sneaky. You're going to nuke us, aren't you? 
You're just doing something to hurt the whole world before you nuke us all. I don't know. Doesn't matter what color Jesus is. Is this going to change what what he does for us after we've been worshiping him? I don't worship a picture, never have. I'm not Catholic. Mr. Putin, what do you think you're doing to Joe? Hurting his feelings? No. I did not vote for Joe. Anyway, black people, I'm happy for you. Something ought to make you happy. I mean, come on now. Because y'all been really upset for years, huh? I hope, I hope this helps you. Just like when I voted for Obama because I was hoping he would be a great president for the blacks. So they could stop being so racist against white people. Because they think the white people invented slavery when actually it was the black. Anyway. I don't want to go there, but Mr. Putin, you drew out that race card and I want to know why. All right. She said he drew the race card. And I want you all to pay attention because she contradicted herself. Okay. She contradicted herself clearly. Uh, she said, Tony Curtis said he'll Billy Karen. Okay. Now she contradicted herself for the simple fact. She said she doesn't care what color he is. It doesn't matter. Okay. Did she think he was blonde haired, blue eyes? She never cared. At the end of the day, it's not going to affect anything, whatever. Here's the thing. Anytime someone says that Jesus is black, people who look like Karen, the people who think like Karen, shall I say, because all people who look like her don't get upset. And I'll show you that with some videos. But the people who think like her, they always want to say it doesn't matter. But it does matter. And I'm going to tell you why. Because first of all, when they show you an image that doesn't look like you, and they tell you that's your God, then that makes you, as I already told you, uh, basically worship and praise the people who don't look like you and be more docile to them, okay, than you are to yourselves. It can fill you with self-hate. Another thing is, here's the thing. These people who have fooled the world and had this uh, false image of Jesus and have been mistreating and oppressing and even enslaved the people that Jesus really looks like, oh yeah, they're going to have consequences for that. There will be consequences for all of that, okay? At the end of the day, when you realize that the very people you've been oppressing, been deleting, and been doing such wicked and nefarious things to, looks like the Most High Savior, which means they look like the Most High God, please pay attention. At the end of the day, you don't think there's going to be consequences? You don't think there's going to be consequences. Please pay attention. But let me just show you all this before I get into these other videos I'm going to show you. Now, look at this. You see that this is where they got the picture of Jesus from. The guy in the black cap is Jose Borja. We call him Caesar, Cesar Borja, Caesar Borja. That's how we've been pronouncing it. But it's actually Shazar Borja. Okay. This was Leonardo da Vinci's boyfriend. Okay. Leonardo da Vinci, da Vinci's boyfriend and the son of Pope the Sixth. Now, the son of Pope the Sixth wanted to fool people into believing that he was God. And so, therefore, he had his son's picture painted by his boyfriend, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, to depict the Savior as being white. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, but here's the thing. Now, I'm sure most of you already know this, at least you should. But at the end of the day, when we talk about how Jesus looked in the Bible, well, that description doesn't even fit. Okay, that description does not even fit. Because what does it say about how he looked in the Bible? We'll get into that in a minute. But also, look at this. That's the Last Supper, also painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Now, where did he get these people from who posed for this? Well, I'm so glad you asked because you see, he got this, these people from prison. These were prisoners who were locked up, okay? He got them to sit and pose as disciples and all of that. And I believe it was his cousin that he got to pose as Jesus. 
And that's not uh, his boyfriend. And this picture, he got his cousin uh, to pose as Jesus. I just want y'all to pay attention. And what he also did, according to this article, which we can all clearly see, please pay attention. Hold on. Is he got people who specifically looked like him? He liked, he likely used similar faces, maybe even to his own. Most accounts claim that Da Vinci's Last Supper uses the faces of actual people to stand in for the apostles' faces. Prisoners. It's said that he loitered around jails uh, with, the Melanie's, with Melanie's criminals uh, to find an appropriate face and expression for Judas, uh, the fourth figure from the left, and the apostle who ultimately betrayed Jesus. Now, he might even have painted himself in the wall mural. Although it's never been proven, some art historians say that Da Vinci painted his own likeness as that of St. James, okay? Either that or the apostle looked like looked a lot like the painter. He clearly painted himself. That's what he did, okay? That's what he did. So I just want you all to pay attention. And another thing about Caesar Borgia, let me just tell you all some more about Caesar Borgia or Chazé Borgia. For those of you who have his picture hanging on your wall, because that's who it is. Um, at the end of the day, he raped his sister and murdered his brother, was in a relationship with Leonardo da Vinci, and he also had syphilis. I can't make this stuff up. It's all true. He also had syphilis. Okay, that's probably what he died from, because back then they didn't have a cure. History doesn't recount who gave Shazar Borgia syphilis, uh, but we do know when and where he got it. In the summer of, of 1497, he was a 22-year-old cardinal uh, sent as Papa Ligat to his by his father, Pope Alexander VI, to crown the king of Naples and broker a marriage for his sister, Lucretia. Naples was a city rich in, com, uh, in covens, convents, I'm sorry, convents and brothels, okay? Uh, so, but it was also ripe with disease. Two years earlier, a French invasion force included, including mercenary troops back from the New World, had dallied a while, had dallied a while to enjoy their victory. And when they left, carried something unexpected and deadly back home with them. And let me just prove my point on that. See, here's how they carried something deadly back home. It was filth and nasty and just all kinds of disgusting things going on back then. Okay, uh, so let me just show you the, the video that tells you some insight on, into that. Why, then in this video, you will learn, and I've had this video for a while. I'm just waiting for the opportune time to show it to you all, and so it goes along with this. Now, in this video, you will learn why they created high heels and perfume. Okay, please pay attention. Can you believe it? High heels were invented to avoid stepping in poop. Perfume was created to mask the stench of feces, and princess dresses were designed for easy public urination and defecation. Yes, this all took place in what we think of as the Romantic era of medieval Europe, which was far dirtier than you might imagine. The streets and even the Grand Versailles Palace were littered with human waste. Walking down the street, you'd better carry an umbrella, lest you get hit by falling excrement. Noble women, adorned in their splendid, voluminous princess gowns, would simply relieve themselves where they stood, especially during long banquets, leaving behind quite the unsanitary scene. To combat the pervasive odor, King Louis XIV of France, who wasn't fond of bathing, popularized the use of perfume to cover up both body odor and the smell of feces making it a sought-after luxury among the aristocracy. Additionally, Europeans invented high heels and stockings to keep their feet clean from the muck, with the tallest heels reaching up to 50 centimeters, illustrating the depth of the filth on the streets. The prevailing feudal mindset, which held that everything, including dust and waste, was created by God, led people to see public urination and defecation as something not to be ashamed of, but rather a point of pride. This, combined with the high population density and the absence of indoor plumbing, turned entire cities into veritable cesspools. 
No wonder Voltaire remarked on this era as dirty and barbaric. Highlighting the stark difference between the idealized view of medieval Europe and its grimy reality. Okay, so I want you all to pay attention. That's why they got high heels. And back then, they had some like 50 inches high. Is that what he said? Also discussing, now you know where all the disease and smallpox and bubonic plague and all that stuff came from. Please pay attention. All right, but they love to talk about Africa, don't they? They love to talk about Africa. Now, with that all being said, I'm going to share with you a video of a black woman who looks like me talking loud and wrong. Okay, she's going in on Putin. Putin's the last person she should be going in, get going in on. She's going in on Putin. Right, it says it does matter. Absolutely. Okay, now she's going in on Putin. And she said, we don't want black Jesus. We want reparations. We want this. We want that. Yeah, we do want that. But at the end of the day, Putin unveiling black Jesus doesn't have anything to do with reparations. Putin's all the way over in Russia. He's their president. He has nothing to do with us, nor has he ever enslaved black folk, colonized black folk, or any of those things that the United States, the West, has done. Okay, please pay attention. I'm going to share my screen. Thank you in advance. Get those likes up, beloveds. Thank you. Now, I don't know what is going on out there. <clears throat> if y'all on your P's and your Q's with, with, with Russia and Putin want to embrace this black Jesus thing. See, y'all got to understand the trick of the devil. They don't want to talk about what was done to the people. We just going to sweep that under the rug. You get me? You got me? We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to bring that up. We're not going to give them people back what belongs to them, what we stole from them, what was stole from them, who abused them, who was unfair with them, who unalived them, who was unjust with them. We ain't going to talk about that. We just going to talk about we're going to embrace a black Jesus now. No, we want back what was taken. We want our stuff. And we don't want to hear this embracing that y'all wasn't embracing when we was embracing all of them billets going upside our head, hanging from trees. You know what I'm saying? Our women being raped, children being fed to alligators. Anybody want to embrace none of that. But now they want to embrace black Jesus. No, we not going to do that. Uh-uh, get somebody else to do that, Putin. What we going to do is give them people their land back, give them people their spiritual religion back, which all is siphoning. You're going to give them people back all of their money that went to the corporation, Putin. Do not come, Putin. Y'all better see the trick of the devil. That's what y'all better do, see the trick of the devil. Because I'm about to deal with one right child. She's going to act like she don't see me here with this trunk. If that damn thing wasn't crossed, that, that Okay, I've heard enough of her foolishness. Now, I want you all to pay attention. Yes, I said she's loud and wrong because she's talking so loud and she thinks she's really saying something. But really, she's saying nothing. Because at the end of the day, why is she talking to Putin? Why is she talking to Putin? Did Putin steal our land? Does Putin owe us reparations? No, he doesn't. So why is she talking about the trick of the devil? The trick of the devil has already been done. The trick of the devil was to make people like her believe and receive that the Messiah doesn't look like her, isn't of her skin tone. I want you all to pay attention to the foolishness of it all. Okay, now she really thought she was saying something. She really sounded like she was saying something. She sounded so ridiculous, okay? Sounded so ridiculous. Going in on Putin, girl, save that for Joe Biden. All right, that's who you need to be talking to, Joe Biden. Why is she talking about Putin? Anyway, I digress. But anyway, let me continue because here's some more um, footage of what people had to say, in fact, about Black Jesus. Please pay attention. And yet another image of your Pope in front of our black king, Jesus, Iesus, and it's not Yeshua, guys. That's, the Hebrews have messed y'all up with that name. I'm gonna do a whole new video on that. Iesus, Jesus, it's your Messiah.
I understand waking up from the matrix is not an easy thing to do. We've been lied to our entire life. We've been psyoped and misled about everything. Every book has been rewritten. Every painting has been repainted. Things have been buried. Things have been moved. All in an effort to deceive us. It is truly my belief that Tartaria was the thousand year reign of Christ. And it's been covered up, never talked about. And it's just now coming out because as the Bible says, there's nothing that is buried that will not be uncovered. The truth is coming out slowly, but we're starting to get more and more puzzle pieces of the timeline that we're living in right now. Satan didn't want us to know the timeline we were in. He wanted us to think that we were heading into destruction and, and evil, where that's their end game. We, the meek of the earth, are about to inherit it because the new heaven and the new earth are coming in. There's a Christ consciousness that's coming in, causing an awakening on a massive scale around the whole world. I'm just one vessel that the Holy Spirit works through to bring the truth to you. So I understand this is very hard to wrap your mind around because of the religious dogmas we've been sold since we were children. But I'm trying to bring the truth to you as softly as I can because there's going to be a lot of information coming out in the future that is going to be mind-blowing for a lot of people and they're going to have to absorb it in a very short period of time. So I'm trying to soften that blow for you guys and let you know that we've been deceived. So I'm here to teach you also what Jesus taught you not what church teaches you, religion, or the Vatican, because they're lying to you. Jesus called them liars, hypocrites, vipers, told them that their father was the father, was the devil, the father of all lies. He's been a murderer and a liar since the beginning. He didn't like the church leaders of his day, and they haven't changed very much because they're still preaching the same doctrine. And I'm here to break the matrix for you guys. You have to be an exemplary type of stupid to believe that Jesus of Nazareth, Christ the King, was a black African Nubian man, a sub-Saharan African man. Let's go back to 10,000 BCE, Anatolian farmer DNA. Here's the modern distribution, but Anatolian farmer DNA is coming from Anatolia here, but it was also in the Levant. If you're completely lacking any anthropological evidence or genetic research, and you just go on dogma from the internet, then sure, you could claim that anybody at all times was black. All of these white people in history were black. Arab people and Persian people were black. The Neo-Assyrians were black. The Hittites were black, but they weren't. Nazarene was Galilean and spoke Aramaic. Here's a person who speaks Aramaic does this person look sub-Saharan African to you? This is Thutmose III, the ruler of Egypt who helped conquer the Levant. His lineage, including the Amenhoteps and then Akhenaten, do not look sub-Saharan African. They are not related to the Western Africans who make up most of America's African-American population. The Egyptian people are related to the people who ruled Egypt. There are also some European rulers, but that's not here nor there. All those icons that Putin is revealing would be more accurate if they were all portraying Romans. It would be more likely that Christ would see a bunch of Romans in his lifetime than he would see a bunch of West African people that look like modern African Americans. It wouldn't make sense seeing as the Levant was consistently populated by European people and people who resembled like Egyptian and Middle Eastern people. So we live in now in a world where AI is looking and studying everything we say. And I made some videos explaining 
who the people used to be in the Middle East, but uh, TikTok don't want it. They take it down because I don't stick to the new narrative, right? And now Putin in Russian uh, explains that uh, that, they, that, they, that the Israelites are all black, right? Well, there was a Russian guy. He says, I speak Russian. This is not what Putin says at all. But even if he did say something like that, how many people, black people, live even in Russia? I don't think even one, maybe a handful, that's it, right? Where do all the African black people live, right? Who are no longer in Africa. They live all in the Western nations. It's all to stir up hate, right, towards us, right? So, no, Jesus was not Middle Eastern, but if you, even if you show them the Caucasian features, they still say, oh, it's Ethiopian. Ethiopians are mixed people. Jesus was not a mixed man. That goes against Scripture, right? Because it was a sin to mix, right? So, let's get real, guys. Also, Trump, there is an IA video from Trump, that where he says that the 144,000 black people are awakening and they will destroy the Kabbalah. That's nonsense. It's IA. But people run away with it, right? So let's keep it real. Okay, I want you all to pay attention. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that had ended. I was doing something else. Uh, so you see that, <laughs> and here's the thing. There are some people that look like me. I saw at least one man did a video saying that this was divisive. Saying, oh, they're trying to separate us. They're trying to be divisive. First of all, I'm sorry. Since when does the United States need help in being divisive? This country has always been divisive. That's why they should be called the divided snakes, not the United States. Okay, they've always been divisive at the end of the day. So that makes no sense. Some people are just clearly foolish and brainwashed, like I told you. And sadly, some of these are our own people. Sadly, some of these are our own people. Now, let me go to this video footage of a Karen who almost fainted when she found out that Jesus was black. Please pay attention. And she also kept trying to deflect, talk about didn't black people enslave, enslave themselves and all this. Okay, here we go. Yeah. That's what that is in the center of the street right there. That, that monument right there. Oh, yeah. That is the yeah. Market Square House. That is a I commemoration of God. Keeping his promise in the Bible that the Israelites will have to go into slavery. Do you believe I didn't say that. But what I'm saying is, I didn't say that. What I'm saying, they sold many things there. They sold many. They sold food there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What I'm telling you is that God said that His people will go to slavery by way of a ship. Fairville doesn't have any water here. That would mean that the people that were sold there got dropped off at the port, the coast, Wilmington, uh, uh, Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina, Virginia, etc. And they had to make different stops. And it says there they will be sold to who? Unto your enemy. Different people. You're going to be sold by the people that are going to have you in Wilmington. Mm -hmm. You're going to travel down to the other parts and places of what you call the America. Yeah. Read. Sorry, Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond women. Read. And, and no man shall buy you. So in the Bible, God told the whole world, because everybody has an opportunity to read this book, told everybody who the Israelites are. And you just found out that who are the true Israelites. So called, you said what? Children but who but who are the who? So called black people are what? Who are the Israelites? Admit it. Say it. They are the children of God. Who? Jesus. Who? Look on the other Alright, go to Psalm chapter 19. Okay. Go to Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 1. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven. <laughs> Karen couldn't take it. I want y'all to pay attention. <laughs> oh, suddenly I, I feel faint. <laughs> Karen couldn't 
take it. And she starts swaying back and forth. <laughs> that was the demons in her. They were getting sick at the sound of his name. Please pay attention. <laughs> now, I would have shown you all the entire video, but it was an hour long, honey. They were going in. Even the guy that was with her, Ken, okay, he was trying to deny it too, saying that basically the scripture doesn't say that he's black. I want you to listen to this. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse, uh, verses, verse 14 through 15, where it describes Jesus. His head and his hairs were like wool, white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many rivers. Like unto fine brass as though burned in a furnace. So the guy that was with Karen was trying to say that when you burn brass, it turns yellow. And that in fact, brass is yellow. And then proceeded to tell the Hebrew Israelite guy that was speaking that his t-shirt that he had on with the purple and gold print, uh, he said that it looked more like the yellow that was on his shirt. So the man said, have you ever seen a person of this color, a person that's yellow? And he said, yeah, he said, Asians. Like, dude, please sit down somewhere. I mean, the denial is real. But I want you all to pay attention because the first video with the with the different uh, videos, the like seven minute long video that I showed you guys, the first guy who was not in denial, who said the meek shall inherit the earth and they shall, who said that Jesus is, the, is a black king who was willing to accept the truth. Well, here's the thing. He talked about Christ consciousness saying that the Christ consciousness is arising and many people are awakening. For those of you who follow the spiritual channel, you know that I did a video last July of 2023 about that same Christ consciousness of which he spoke. Uh, so let's get into it. And in that video, I showed you black Jesus. So like I said, we who are awakened already knew and have known. Let me just show you all. As you can see there, Okay, this video is um, Christ Consciousness, the Vesica Pieces and Spiritual Integration. Okay, uh, so with that all being said, this was a very insightful video. Maybe I'll re-upload it for those of you who didn't get to see it. But here's another image of a black Jesus on the cross. Okay, I want you all to pay attention. And so with that all being said, there's black Jesus with the black angels and all of that, with the black heavenly choir. Okay, so that's what you all to pay attention. People on my spiritual channel already knew what time it was and uh, have a whole lot of insight about the Christ consciousness and all of that and the things that, were co that are coming to pass. We've already talked about the age of Aquarius and all of those things. Okay, and so with that all being said, I find it all so interesting, but here's one last video. Um, this is, I think, a couple of videos, okay? So please pay attention. Did Putin really just talk about black Jesus? And if so, then why isn't the whole world talking about this? Everyone's seeing a bridge collapse. Everyone's seeing Diddy's house being raided. Listen. We stand on the precipice of a monumental revolution, a moment that defines not only our understanding of history, but also the path forward for our great nation. In an extraordinary discovery hidden beneath centuries of lore and legend, we have opened what can only be described as the oldest vault known to mankind. What we found within its ancient confines challenges the very fabric of our beliefs and heralds a new dawn for our country. Within this vault, we discovered figures of bi biblical proportions characters that many have read about, debated, and revered. These figures, preserved against the sands of time, reveal a truth that is as profound as it is transformative. They are all black. This revelation, this undeniable truth, stands before us not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testament to the diversity and unity that faith embodies. As your president, I see this moment not as a challenge to our beliefs, but as an opportunity to embrace a wider, more inclusive understanding of our history and spirituality. So when I searched on the internet, 
I kept finding that everything was false. It's false. It's false. But isn't that how most things are that are actually true? Comment below what you think about black Jesus. And what do I think? I think that it doesn't matter what color Jesus was. He died for our sins. And I What's going on, y'all? So Vladimir Putin, he went, uh, he was at a press conference and whatnot, and he released a bunch of images of a bunch of black um, biblical people, even a black Jesus. So let me get y'all's uh, thoughts on it. It's tripping about the video that I'm posting, but just look at this picture right here. And look at this one. Let's see, you see the nose. It has a big nose. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not being racist now. I'm just saying, man, you know, I'm just talking about features. And then, I mean, you see that? That one looks kind of like European style. I'm not going to lie. And then this one right here looks like it is Jesus right here. And um, I don't know. Now, obviously, I can't give you a for sure answer and tell you, oh, yes, this is Jesus, yada, yada, yada. But one thing that I can say is, as a Muslim, we believe that Moses was a black man. And Jesus, we believe Jesus was a black man, too. I mean... When you look at, even when you read certain Bible verses, when it talks about um, the feet of Jesus Christ were bronze, what does that tell you? So, me personally, I have no idea where the hell this person came from. This is not Jesus. This is just a white man with a beard. And one thing I love about Islam is that um, there's no images of anybody. You don't go and make images of prophets. You don't go and make images of Muhammad. You don't go and make images of Jesus. And you don't make images of nobody. Because if you do that, we're having the same problem we're having right now. Even a painting can't 100% accurately predict what, or even tell future generations this is what that person looked like. Even though the paintings might be detailed, this isn't exactly what the person looked like. So my whole thing is, I've always known that Jesus was, was uh, colored. I always knew uh, Moses was colored. I mean, the whole message of Jesus was destroyed by Paul when he told the Jews not to obey the Old Testament no more. But Jesus said to obey the Old Testament laws. And whoever tells you not to, they're an enemy. But what do y'all think about this, man? Y'all comment down below. Do y'all think Jesus is white or do y'all think he was colored? Y'all comment down below. Catch y'all next episode. A rato. Okay, now I know some of y'all are mad because he said colored, honey. Please pay attention. <laughs> but here's the thing. I want you to also pay attention. Now, he said that was just a white guy with a beard. <laughs> ah, just another woman said he said he was colored. What color was he colored? Well, he already said that he was black. He already said that the Muslims believe that he's black and that Moses was black. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But at the end of the day, I find it all very interesting, okay? I find it all very interesting. So, you know, some people are willing to embrace it and accept it, the truth for what it is. And while some people are butthurt, bothered, and been out of shape and clearly about to pass out. Like, Karen getting all sick like that? Bithia said Mexicans call us colored family, okay? That's what they call us. Uh, so, um, Karen was so sick as her demons were trying to you know, uh, stand there and listen to this man talk, telling the truth. Her, her demons just made her almost pass out. I just want you all to pay attention. I just want you all to pay attention. Uh, Rich said, I'm not mad at colored. He's at a level of ignorance. You know, this is what they have. Uh, what is the word? They have indoctrinated some people to call us. Even now when they say people of color, it's the same thing. When you say people of color, when you're talking about blacks, Latinos, Mexicans, and all of that, you're still saying the same thing. That's that's the same thing as color, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, it's the same thing, right? Just a different way of saying it. And so with that all being said, it was a point that I wanted to make about what the something the young man said in that video. I can't remember. Uh, it slipped my mind. Something that he said. But nonetheless, there you have it. Okay, a lot of people are upset and in their feelings. They're saying that it doesn't matter what color he was. But if, in fact, it did matter, why has he always been depicted as someone who looks European? As someone who doesn't look like us, okay? So please pay attention. Reggie says, I know her demons were mad and tried to choke her out to stop her from listening. <laughs> All 
crazy. Dorana said, Alexa, play weak, play weak at the knees by Steve Aronson. <laughs> oh, this is all so nefarious. Okay. At the end of the day, like I said, people are a trip. I mean, I just find it all so interesting. Don't get mad now. Like, why are you mad at the truth? Okay. <laughs> um D nice is about truth says old boy was incorrect about Paul like most people Paul never said the Old Testament was done away with that's what the point I wanted to make beloved thank you for saying that that's the point that I wanted to make I couldn't, couldn't remember my point so when he said that Paul told them to do away with the Old Testament and then Jesus said to follow the New Testament and he said whoever tells you not to is your enemy I want you to pay attention to that because that's what I told you. I said, now, they don't want you to follow the Old Testament. The Old Testament says an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Now, the New Testament says turn the other cheek. Now, that's absolutely why they don't want you reading that. Please pay attention. Okay, please pay attention. They don't want you reading that because it's literally telling you to be docile, not to defend yourself. Okay? And so with that all being said, I'm going to go ahead. And here's the thing. Another thing is, you know, when they try to demonize Hitler and all that stuff and say all these nefarious things about him, first of all, the United States is the one who gave him and his regime the label of Nazis. Okay. Second of all, when they um, say all of this stuff about him, hold on. The Arabs know the truth, but don't say anything. But the new alliances, they will eventually tell the truth, too. They could have just said small hats ain't shim, but they kept quiet, too. Okay? Uh, Mary said, I'm not colored, I'm black. Okay? I'm just drenched in melanin. Oh, and here's another thing I want to tell you all. You notice in the Bible when it described Jesus, it said his eyes were red like fire. When it says his eyes were red like fire, I want you all to pay attention because this is something that many people don't know. Now, look at my eyes. Sometimes people say, oh, queen, your eyes, the whites of your eyes look red. The whites of your eyes are dark. Uh, do you have, are you sick? You know, you need to go get your liver checked and all this. Here's the thing. People who have problems with their liver develop jaundice, which turns the whites of the eyes, the uh, sclera, it turns it to yellow. That's a sign of illness. My eyes are not have any nothing to do with my health. I'm going to I go to the doctor and once a year I go to get an eye exam. Here's the thing though, what many people don't know. Some black people, and some people drenched heavily in melanin, your eyes will start to develop melanin. I want y'all to pay attention. You will start to get melanin in the whites of your eyes. That's what that is. And it's nothing. You know, it's nothing dangerous. It's nothing, you know, that's um, a problem or have anything to do with your health. Okay, so some of y'all don't know that. Y'all right? A matter of fact, some of Bussy Reek's minions tried to clown me. One of them tried to clown me when I was going in on Bussy Reek about a year or so ago. Talking about, oh, you have jaundice. I don't have jaundice. My eyes don't even look yellow. But at the end of the day, they have melanin in them. And the whites of my eyes have melanin. And a lot of black people start to develop that. Okay, and you can look it up, do the research. It's nothing abnormal. It's very normal for black people. In fact, I feel blessed, okay, because the more melanin I have uh, about myself, the better. Please pay attention. Okay, I just want y'all to know that. Vince, I am said facts, queen, okay? Absolutely. Uh, Sister Truth said, that's true, queen. Thank you. So you know why people try to clown me, honey, at the end of the day, I'm melanin blessed, and that's all it is. All right. Uh, East, East meets West is exactly queen. Melanin is the default. Exactly. Okay. Mary Evans said also. Okay. So listen, I hope you all enjoyed that presentation. Y'all see how some people are mad, but hurt, sad, but out of shape and all of that. But the truth is the truth and it will continue to be revealed. Okay. Some people will unfortunately be on the wrong side of history. Some people will unfortunately stay stuck in cognitive dissonance and will also continue to be of victims of Stockholm Syndrome, some of our own people, like the man I told you who said uh, that this is divisive. When has it ever not been divisive specifically as it pertains to us? 
He didn't think it was divisive for them to have a white Jesus, which is the biggest image of wanting supremacy. He didn't find that problematic, but bringing out a black Jesus, the truth of who Jesus really looked like, according to the, even the Bible, is a problem. I want you all to pay attention because that's some of our own people are uh, sad to say. With that all being said, thank you, Reggie. Reggie said, great broadcast. Okay, so with that all being said, I love you all to life. And listen, for those of you who didn't see the Christ Consciousness video on the Spiritual Channel, I'll re-upload that for you all to make it premiere today, okay? Uh, so with that all being said, everyone, please like and share this video. Okay, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click the notification bell and click the word all so you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Also, please make sure to double check that you're still to ensure that you're still subscribed if you have not been receiving your notifications. All right, so I love you all to life. Each one, teach one. That's how we grow and thrive. Do something productive, constructive, but never destructive. And always remember, beloveds, to keep the most high first in your lives. Peace. Sold all in my skin, God all in my blood Kings all in my circle, you touch one of mine and you're done They show no love for the queen, why you hating on me? Is it cause I'm free and I got Malcolm X in my jeans? I got dreams like King Luther, shed blood like Kusa You ain't helping my people, I ain't got nothing to say to ya I want all the smoke like hookah Talking reparations, America won't be great until they give us compensation I'm like, uh I'm the hottest right now That's See right. a bunch of lames out here trying to jock on my style They be doing too much I'm the queen, it's too easy It's like they all at Popeyes How they be talking so greasy Real I just sit back and laugh While these haters get madder <laughs> So nefarious how they don't want my pockets with chatter I tell them they can do better These snakes in the grass Can leave a bite on your ass Cause y'all be trusting too fast I got my foot on the gas other one on they necks Dropping receipts on haters You better show some respect I'm never facing regrets We only facing the threats Running through every challenge Like a relay break, no sweat It's a cold game So I got that blanket with me Now that my people awake And ain't no going to sleep I do not play by my peace This time I'm playing for keeps You talking slick But when I see you like them ends We gon' meet And now I got gold all in my skin in my blood. my blood, kings all in my circle, you touch one of mine and you done, it's they done. show no love for the queen, why they hating on me, is it cause I'm free and I got Malcolm X in my jeans and I got gold all in my skin, skin. God all in my blood. my blood, kings all in my circle, you touch one of mine and you done, That's they it. show no love for the queen, why they hating on me, is it cause I'm free and I got Malcolm X in my jeans and I got... <laughs>